G'day, it's Mark. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, we had a great time with Robbie Wolf. And uh, now we're heading to South Dakota to Mount Rushmore. Cadillac Seville, the sloping back. I don't see these very often now. Got one of these back in Australia. Yeah, it's cool to see it. Cool car. So the speed limit here in uh, Iowa is, uh, it's the middle of nowhere, it's uh, 70 miles an hour. I drove past the police car in the middle of the road, a Dodge Charger at 82, and the guy just didn't do a thing. You wouldn't get that in Australia. So we're just in uh, Sioux Valley. Sioux as in S-I-O-U-X as in the Indians. And I'll uh, just stop for fuel on our way to South Dakota, Mount Rushmore. Uh, we won't get there today because it's too far, but we'll make a certainly make a good uh, go of it, and uh, we'll see where we end up tonight. Yeah. How cool is this javelin? Beautiful. That's really cool.
South Dakota on our way to Mount Rushmore, past Sioux City on our way to Rapid City. And we're just uh, pulling in for something to eat. Long drive, big distances, but it's really cool landscape and uh, definitely enjoying the trip. And uh, can't wait to see Mount Rushmore, but that'll be tomorrow. Tomorrow morning we'll leave early to go and uh, do that, and then on to something else. So we're going to actually stay in Rapid City. Uh, a lot of the accommodations booked out around Mount Rushmore. There's some pet show or something on. So uh, we just booked ahead, you know, from where we are now, just to make sure that because we're going to drive right through, so it's going to be pretty late, like 9:30 or something like that at night, 10 o'clock. So we'll be out sharing the roads with the big trucks. Ah, welcome to Rapid City. Okay, we've arrived, Fletch. After a short jaunt from Davenport. Uh, 11 hour day. 11 hour day. There you go. Hour driving day, yeah. Yeah. And we had a gourmet dinner on the way. How uh, was it? Small pizza and a cup of coffee on the bonnet of the Suburban. You know, the night before we had a gourmet restaurant meal. Fletch is parking the Suburban. How cool is that, Fletch? Look at it. The Indians driving the uh, bison off the... What's it made out of? Gee, it's well done, isn't it? Even this, look at this, Fletch. Very well done. Beautifully done. That's very cool. G'day, it's Mark here. Welcome back to the channel and check that out, Mount Rushmore. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Definitely one of those iconic American monuments. Started in the 1920s and they finished it in the early 40s. So all the sculpting that was required. You can see all the stone that fell below. I've just been left there. But very, very cool. This would be really nice in the winter as well. We've got the cafe here with the fireplace, beautiful stone fireplace. It's very cool. Here's the uh, Big Daddy Jeep, the Grand Wagoneer. I feel they should have an optional wood grain package, and uh, I don't know what engine it's got in it, but it should definitely have a big V8. Yeah, it should have the uh, 5.7 V8, but I don't know whether it's got that. I like the American flag on it, that's very cool. Just, uh, if you're Jeep, add wood grain option. Look at this cool F truck. There's a TP, we're entering Wyoming now. Sundance in Wyoming. Gorgeous. No Toyota Camry parking allowed. <laughs> so we're in uh, Uncle Louis' diner in Wyoming in uh, Sundance Wyoming. It's pretty cool, isn't it, Fletch? Very, yeah, very, yeah. These are the sorts of places you see on the movies, you know? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. 
but uh, just part of the road trip across America, enjoying it. This is a cool Oldsmobile, looks like about 1977 to me. Four, four, two. Yeah, don't see these very often. They had a swivel bucket seat, so I don't know if that's got those in it. But cool car. I like it. This is Uncle Louis' diner where we just ate. Really good, best omelette I've had since I've been in America. Fantastic. It's called the OMG omelette. How cool does that look? That's the Sundance Bank, the State Bank. How cool was that? Uh, 1976 Oldsmobile 442. Of course, different to the original 442s from the 60s, but very interesting, very rare car, 350 V8. Has the swivel buckets. Thomas's parents bought the car, and after about a year, his father kind of preferred the older one, so he just parked it outside next to the haystacks, and there it remained. It's only got about 76,000 miles on it, and he's going to uh, restore the car. He's looking after it. He's going to keep it stock. So it's just really cool to see a car like that out in the middle of, no, not nowhere, but out in the middle of Wyoming. Last thing you'd expect to see.